on planet Earth in New York City, where West 25th Street sits between 6th and 7th Avenues, you will find another planet, one usually inhabited by seniors. It's a place where they can explore the wide world of today's technology. Twice a week, Senior Planet gets some visitors. It's a time when young people and people of an advanced age get together for a special course to explore stereotypes, specifically how teens and seniors are portrayed in the media. I just got the popular girls from the local middle school to follow me around. Oh, seriously. I make dirt. I'm not big enough or strong enough for this. There should be some ways to make it easier. The fact that I don't have to cook, and every Tuesday night it's a real tradition for us. The food is wonderful. You have a great selection, and we try everything. Imagine giving these students the responsibility of being a teacher. What could anyone possibly learn from them? They are about to find out in the Bad Girls and Boys School for Old People. Things kick off with discussions about images we see every day on our internet and TV. At first I didn't see it that way, but then hearing all the other point of views, mm -hmm. I can so, see where so everybody sees the ages of the point to say. Yeah, and that's, and that's kind of one of the things Stop that the like is super, why, why commercials are so effective is because they utilize these things that are actually really subtle. I think a lot of Americans watch television and they, they just open their mouth and let themselves be spoofed and they, they don't think critically. That's, that's my experience. Well, yeah, so, so, they, they so, so I, I think the advertisers want to talk about it. They critique commercials like this one, asking, are these messages informative and fun or perhaps mean-spirited. Did either of you have any reaction to the he loves me, he loves me not? I mean, that's really like stereotypical looks of dragon. Yes. And I think it's a is that you have to you have to be wild and crazy to be but also you know that's the age message also I just noticed when they're returning to their home it's like it's going yeah. yeah. they've been out they've been out yeah they've been out all night so it takes time to party this hard right. you know what I mean so when we thought of uh, taking out some of those awful images and replacing them that's not at all what we you, you, you know you absolutely can because the thing is is that you can juxtapose it with the original commercial. So you can have the video there and you can say this is the original commercial and, this and then is what it should be. this is what it should be. Once the talking is done, it's time for action. Teens and seniors pair up at computers and they edit or remix some of the commercials. Add words, add new music, add pictures, whatever you want, but just to critique the commercial, yeah. Cool. So what are you working on there? We're just watching the video over to see which parts we want to lampoon. Yeah. Or possibly uh, add and, and delete. It's called making a break. How are young people the young people? It's like the person to the teenager and what they think we would do. But being commented by people sharing this and we have a lot to say about that. Teenagers are regularly depicted. So I see. I found it sarcastic. I found it like, yeah. why can't an older person do that? It's not funny. I didn't know how it related to like, you know, advertising, what they were trying to advertise. It it's designed to sell a product. But one class thinks it also reinforces stereotypes. Take a look at their comments on screen.
<laughs> As they work together, seniors learn that help in navigating sophisticated technology often comes from the young person right next to them. And teens learn as well. Later in the course, participants collaborate to influence the media, composing blogs and designing campaigns to help combat ageism. And this is where we really talk about activism 2.0. Right, right, right. And so that raises the really important question about online presence. The teenage could interview an elder and then the elder could interview a teenager. They can't switch it up. The, the content you create is informed by the platform you will use. Somebody in charge of managers. social Managers. Managers, yes. A social media manager and a multimedia project manager. With my Tumblr, I don't really like post things of mine, but I do reblog others. Twitter is different from Facebook in that Twitter has, you have a limited amount of characters that you can post at once. At the end of each session, the two age groups often socialize. This was actually an x-ray on my back from when oh. I was um, doing part four. I, I, I hopped over a fence and like my foot, like my pants got stuck in the fence and I landed like backwards, but I was okay. And then the scissors, I just made them add that. Yeah, unsponsored. I'm unsponsored. Okay. Not sponsored by any company. I hate what I thought he was talking about. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then on my wheels, it used to say blind until I wrote it a lot. Yeah, blind is a skate company. Okay. Oh, skateboarding is life to me. I like it better on water called surfboarding. <laughs> but it was fun because I want to do it again. I think it is again. I would love it. That's good. Did you think they were good shooters? Yeah. Well, after they were told to hold me. <laughs> I thought I knew a lot more than I do. They were had a lot of confidence in me. Go ahead. And I think I would have if we had a park. Okay? We had people in traffic, and those are excuses to say I didn't do well. But I think a few more lessons, and I'll be out there with them trying all the tricks. Yes, I said it, the dreaded young people, the lazy, apathetic, and my personal favorite, doom generation. I mean, how more pessimistic can you get? Leave them right there. Two generations, usually unaware of the other, orbiting in their own universe, but coexisting comfortably in the senior planet, on planet Earth. <laughs>